Alright, previously in a previous video I showed you guys how to create custom loops in GarageBand. Now I'm going to show you how to assign those loops that you created to a virtual instrument track. We're going to start off, we have GarageBand open and we're going to go to track. We're going to add a new track and we're going to make sure it's a software instrument track. Press create. Now I'm going to be using my loops that I made for doing drops for DJs, so it's going to be other sound effects. But if you're a musician and you have some piano loops that you have, you could go under piano and then some of these defaults, but we'll go into sound effects, radio sounds. Now down here under instrument generator, we have sound effects selected radio sounds but we don't want it to be called radio sounds we want to create a new software instrument track so we're going to click over here on this little pen then in this window we're going to make a new preset under make preset and we'll call this one drops demo and save it you can leave this stuff as default for right now later on if you want to mess with it you can. Now we're going to save this instrument as drops demo. Now it's listed over here under software instruments under sound effects. Now we'll bring up musical typing and you're going to have some default ones in here already that are under radio sounds because it's under the sound effects category. We can replace those at any time, but we'll start all the way down on the end. And all you do is you go down to your loop browser, you click that I, and go through and find your loops you want. Click them, drag them up onto the keys. Now, all you got to do. Just click the keys, touch the keys on your keyboard. They're now assigned to your virtual software track. And the last thing you're going to want to do, you're just going to want to save the instrument as drops demo and replace because we made changes to it by dragging the loops up there. And that should be it. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll help you out.